Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And today we have a very special episode. I'm very pleased to have Brian Gunderson and Jesse Wadillo joining me here as Brian is a glass explorer and he's visiting North Carolina this weekend. So it's a great chance for me, the first time I ever get to try glass and Brian now can um, is here with us. He can share his experience. Thanks a bunch, guys. Yeah. I'm really glad to have you down. Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah, so um, Brian, if you could just tell us uh, a little bit how glass has worked for you and how it's um, kind of affected your vision or how that works. Yeah, sure. Um, I got glass about two weeks ago and uh, I went up to New York to get it. And one of, the, one of the cool things I've done with it is my mom's actually handicapped. She hasn't seen her basement in 15 years, so I was able to have a hangout with her while I clean the basement <laughs> and I could say you keep or throw this away <laughs> and she she finally got to see our basement again so that was fun but as far as as far as vision goes um, the first couple days uh, my eyes hurt because you're not used to having this device in front of you but uh, the Google uh, the glass guide that's what they're called that was uh, helping me out he said to kind of ease into it so as the as the weeks progressed, I, I wore it more and more, and I wore it on a six six hour car ride here, so I'm doing all right with that. Good, yeah, that's one of the things I know we were wondering about. Like, well, this does it really get in the way of your vision very much? Or? No, uh, as far as my facial structure is, I'm sure everybody might be different, but um, the the actual prism is up on the it, it's on your what's that is it a visor? It's on your visor. Mm -hmm that you fold down to shade the sun. So it actually wasn't in the, the windshield at all. And okay. I was able to record things and, and do stuff just fine without without fear of getting distracted that way. Great, great. And um, I know we've been talking a lot about different ideas, how Google Glass can really um, be exciting, a lot of new technology and new uses for it. Jesse, what are, you know, you're saying a couple of things may be good uses. Yeah, in the sports world, allowing a professional who does something that is amazing, something that, you know, a lot of us normal human beings cannot do. Usain Bolt running with these things on. Um, Tiger Woods hitting a golf ball with these things on. That's a surreal experience. But even more so than that, education with doctors or with someone in that case, you can actually take a video while doing a surgery and let other doctors see that. That's never been available before in a live setting. That's amazing. Yeah, this, this would be great. So I think we're only just uh, touching the tip of the iceberg with all the potential uses for this. One thing we were fortunately able to do with Brian was we had him do a visual field test here on one of our automated visual field machines to see how it affects the vision. And so we can tell with that right eye, and these uh, will have zoomed in closer on the links, but you can see up in the top part of the vision, in the peripheral 30 degrees is where the Google Glass is coming down, but it doesn't interfere with the central vision. And in the left eye, you can see is completely normal. It's got a full field there. So um, I'm sure we'll have a lot of questions. Uh, please post. We'll be happy to answer them. And then we'll hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.